So in this video, we are going to identify which two products have been sold together most often and we will do it using SQL. A lot of people also refer to this as product association or market basket analysis. The very basic example that we all have heard of is milk and bread. And to an extent, even the advanced recommendation engines rely on this basic fundamental. When you open an e-commerce website and you try to buy something, a lot of time it gives you a message, customer who bought this also bought this. By doing this, they are enhancing your user experience and making more money by cross-selling. I think that's enough background. Let's look at our data. So I've created few hundred rows in this table using this DDL, which has column like order ID, the date on which the order was placed, the product that was sold as a part of that order and the quantity sold. Now a person can order multiple products as a part of the single order. Each order has its unique order ID and every individual product of the order has its own ID which is item order ID. For example, for order ID 20, the customer bought 6 products in different quantities and each product has its own order item ID. Now before we write our query to identify which two products have been sold together the most, it is vital that we understand how our output should look like. This will help us in creating our query. So first of all, we need to have a list or mapping of products like this. Here we have taken only four products. So we will have six distinct pairs. How many time product one was sold with product two, product three and four. Now we will not pair product two again with product one because we have already done that. So we will pair product two with product three and four. And finally, our product three with product four. Now we just need to identify in how many orders these products were bought together. Let's populate some random values here for demonstration purpose. Once we have the number of orders for all product combinations, we can easily identify the top three or top five using our rank function. I think that's enough of talking and demonstration. Let's go ahead and write our query. So we will have to perform a self join for the table order item to get the product list or mapping and we will use order ID as our main join condition. And let's for a moment restrict ourselves with the order ID 29 in which four products were sold together. Now when we only used order ID as the join condition, we got 16 rows. Here we have rows like this with the same product ID on both sides and we do not want that. So we will have to add a condition that product ID from A table should not be equal to product ID from the B table. Now we got 12 rows but we still have a problem. We have a row listing product ID 1 with product 8 and then another row showing product ID 8 with product ID 1. Essentially these two designate or signify the same thing. So we need to get an additional condition to ensure that this combination of product 1 and product 2 is captured only once. And for that we can use our column order item ID. We can specify that a dot order item ID should be less than b dot order item ID. And now we get the six rows. We already saw earlier, if four products are sold in an order, we will have six combinations from it. So these are the conditions we were looking for. Now let's remove the where condition. We will select only the product ID from the two tables and then we will group by our data set on the basis of these two product IDs and we will get the count where they were sold together. Let's also sort this now on the basis of count to make it a little more clean. Now we can see that product 3 and product 4 have been sold the most together. Then we have product 3 and product 5 and so on. Now we can see if someone is buying product 3, it will be wise to show them to buy 
product 4 and product 5 as well. It's quite likely that the person may buy product 4 and product 5 as well. And now that we have this data set, we just need to use our rank function to get the top 3 or top 5 selling products together. Let's do that and for that let's comment this order by part for now and we will give our data set an alias A and let's give our column name some alias as well. We will name this as total count and let's keep this column as product ID A. Now we will use the rank function and in the order by clause for that we will specify total count. Let's give this column a name rank sold together. We got the rank as well now. Now we just have to filter the records we want to see on the basis of our rank and it is as easy as that. Now let's summarize what we just did. We created a list of products that were sold together. Then we identified the number of times they were sold together. And finally we used rank to identify the top selling products. Let me give you another problem which is pretty similar to this. You have to write a PL SQL block which takes a product ID as input and returns the recommendation of top 3 products in the order in which they were sold together. For example, product 3 was sold most with product 4, 2 and 5. So if we give product 3 as input, it should return product 4, 2 and 5 as output. I will leave the DDL, DML and the query we discussed in the comment section. Try to create this PL SQL block and post your answers in the comments below. If you are not able to create it, do not worry. I will post a solution to this problem in the next video.